Hello everybody, I'm on Mall Central and judging by the fact that we've just been on a train and there's um, some green um, MMCs and there's a gas bus MMC, double decker, about to overtake it. Welcome to Nottingham. So yes, we are in Nottingham for this video. It's going to be an afternoon video, so it's not going to be one of the longest adventures that we've done. Um, but just like we did recently um, with Worcester, where we had a look at the different operators and things, I thought we'd rock up to Nottingham. Northern trains were doing a bit of a sale, they were doing one pound singles, so I thought we'd rock up to Nottingham, spend a few hours here sampling and seeing how good Nottingham City Transport is. Nottingham City Transport, obviously, a, one of the last municipal operators. Municipal meaning still council run, one of the very, very last few ones, obviously. Companies like Bournemouth used to exist, they've gone under quite recently, and a few others have been taken over by private companies. Nottingham City Transport is one of the last municipal still run by the council. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to sample a few of their buses, see what they're like, probably get a few other operators in between as we have a plus bus, see where we end up and hopefully have quite a few nice hours out and about, primarily on the Nottingham City Transport Bus Network. So here we go, first bus on a trip on the Park and Ride 49 route, a 19 plate biogas. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are at um, one of the park and ride sites um, and that was our bus on the 49. The 49 then um, nips back round and goes to the B&Q site. There is also the um, community transport for Nottingham Depot over there so we're going to go and have a look at that shortly um, and we'll have um, one last shot of this bus. I'll probably get a quick photo of it as well. So yeah, um, the wow factor. <laughs> Instantly, I think we've only taken a short five ten minute trip on that because this park and ride site with Nottingham being as amazing as it is isn't far out of the city centre, that means it's an attractive park and ride site to use. And um, we're going to have a little bit of a walk down, look in a shop or two, um, that's um, local around here, and then get a 48 back. The 48 uses slightly older um, gas buses to that one, but that was absolutely phenomenal. And was that bus. It's also important to note that community transport for Nottingham as well as having the depot literally there also run the hospital link from here the hospital link looking quite popular and there's a perfect way not to clog up and the main hospital car parks and things like that and the buses themselves Nottingham ones I'm going to let them do the talking today till the intro because I'm just in wow with how good they are but I'll try and show you as much as I can Till then, and um, something to note with that is the um, TV screen. So, next time we're on a bus, take a proper look at the television next stop screens, as they're very impressive. So, we've just done a little bit of shopping and what have, and instantly rock up to the bus stop to find that the next bus is due. Don't know how well you can see that, but it is going to be another 49 that we're going to catch back into the city centre. Obviously, with it being an afternoon video, done a little bit of shopping, we're going for a little bit of food after this and hopefully have a bit of a sit down, a bit more of a plan as to what we're going to go on today. Obviously, um, the time that we're here, there's still a handful of Omnideckers left, so I believe they're going to be the next thing on the tick list after this little short ride out on one of the biogas buses and a short ride back in. And we've got 489 back. Hello, you're right. Thank you.
thank you. So here we are in Nottingham city centre. And there goes the Solo SR. So within the chaos of 19 plates on the 58 and the 57, our bus is on its way, um, coming around the corner on the 56. A 22 plate all being well. There we go, so ours is going to be YN22 BNF, numbered 533. identical bodyworks and things in the um, west of England on the Bristol services. Um, quite a few of them actually replaced all the B70L vehicles and stuff like that. They got the City Lines East as well that they use this spec on. There's a few differences on them obviously the seat maquette's different and Nottingham have sort of upgraded them slightly here and there as you can see the green light on the floor and little bits and bobs there. The mirror at the back is also just as nice as the west of England one. Um, so that must be said as well. So this is a 22 plate. This is one of the newest ones that they've got. They've only had these a couple of weeks. Um, Next stop, sitting into Victoria Centre. At the time of filming, they've only had them like a couple of weeks, about a month. And um, some of them, the earliest ones, um, and they've all sort of slowly entered service. There's also a few more waiting to enter service. So um, I don't know how many more they're going to be getting. Obviously, they've got a few on the deckers that they're going to try and get rid of. And there is an omni deck on this route, so hopefully the plan is, is to go up on this 22 plate. See how this compares to the other one we've been on earlier on the park and ride on the 49, um, and then potentially all be more cross fingers get an omni decker back into the city centre. Next stop. Sherwood Shops. the close. Next stop, Beechwood Road. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are somewhere north of Arnold Centre, that was our bus. Looking very, very nice in the sunlight. Number 533, registered Wine 22 BNF. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of a walk um, up the estate and to get on our next bus. It's going to be a Scania Omnidecker. It's coming up as a 58 and it's going down as a peak time only 58X service. So I'll explain why that runs once we're on board. So we've only about... 
a dozen or so left in the fleet and I think there's about seven or eight of these examples out today. Um, this is what we're hopefully going to be jumping on. That is the 58. Um, it is going to be changing to the 58X to take us hopefully into the city centre. So we're going to be route to come to Nottingham and not go on one of these on the deckers while they still have them. They're also longer length too. So my first time on a Nottingham Scania on the decker actually with Nottingham City Transport. So I don't think the camera quite does it justice, just how long these buses feel. It's absolutely huge. I remember, and now obviously they're going to the gas buses and stuff like that, that are slightly shorter. But I remember when they first got these absolutely massive people movers, they're ideal um, for the Nottingham network at the time. Incredibly busy, it's still very busy as you can see, and as you've seen with the other buses. I and mean, obviously the shorter, um, shorter length buses are probably more suited to today's passenger figures, especially with the service frequency. These are 6 to 1 plates, so these were the last Scania Omnideckers built for Nottingham and some of the last with Omnideckers bodywork built in the UK. Um, they feature um, very old stopping bells that you can see, very very weird to have the old push style stopping bells, but I think what helps to give the length sort of concept is the fact that these back seats are slightly further forward than you'd get on some of the older on the deckers that they had for Nottingham and the standard on the deckers you found in the rest of the UK. Because the seats are slightly more forward, I think, to sort of facilitate a slightly bigger engine on these ones um, and a slightly newer engine, and the seats have been moved forward, they've all been levelled out as well, that again creates this extra long set, like sense of extra long length because you're obviously all on the same level instead of sort of going up and down like a slope. And obviously you've not got your sort of four seat that you'd usually get there and there um, to also give the extra sort of length um, and sort of like feel like it was a bit smaller um, than it is because obviously it's it's a bit slightly further forward than your normal on the deckers but because of the setup it feels very very long um, and you'll probably get a sense of that when we jump off the bus. So alongside all of that I've just said, um, I did also mention at the beginning that this was the 58X service that we're jumping on, you'll have seen it, you might have heard it in some clips and things, or you'll hear it in some clips. Um, the 58X, um, the X prefix at the end, is used on a number of services at peak time. So it's used on the 57s as well on this network, and I imagine it's also used on certain other routes throughout the city. Now it would be quite, it is quite surprising um, for some of you um, for the fact that this ran out of the city as a 58 and then ran in at peak time, it is about 5 o'clock now, ran in at peak time as, an, as what you would describe as an express direct route. Now the reason for this um, is Nottingham being Nottingham City Transport, one of the um, best bus companies in the UK um, for years and years running. Um, want to position buses carefully. Obviously at peak time they'll put a few extra buses out or they'll schedule them in, in a clever way to ensure that the bus is more frequent at peak time. And one way of doing this is introducing these X services. So the 58X for example were left the estate at the top of Arnold and instead of running round the entire estate it got to the bottom of the road, turned right, went straight into Arnold and then went straight into the city centre shaving off about 15 to 20 minutes running time on the normal 58 route. So with the tighter timetables on this service and the more direct route, it means that this, and I believe it's two or three others around this same time, can all run direct back into Nottingham, get back into Nottingham for approximately half five, 20 to six, and provide themselves as extra peak time buses for the peak time rush out of Nottingham city centre. So it increases the frequency at peak time and for anybody travelling in potential on a night out or something like that or like us wanted to get back into the city a bit quicker so we can get another bus in, it's absolutely ideal. It's also important to remember that as well as working on a peak evening, so running them out as the full route and then running them as a short extra, uh, like expresses, this also works in the opposite fashion in a morning. So in the morning, 
and they run up as 58Xs from the city so they don't run as dead run buses um, or they run in the middle of the peak so they've all done a trip down as the 58 they run as a 58X up to the top of the estate at Arnold in the morning and then run down as the entire 58 as a little bit of an extra to boost the frequency at peak times on the full route in the direction of travel that most passengers are going on so it's little cool things like that so yep that's what we intend to do but that's the kind of thing that this is provided and again is another really 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 cool thing that nottingham city transport still do um, like many other operators or many other municipals used to do many many years ago Thank you. So here we are in Nottingham. Now I believe we've just jumped off that one. I believe if we go down there, there's going to be another on the decker waiting for us. So we're going to get two on the deckers in because why not? So yeah, another um, run that we're going to get at peak time is the 44. Um, once it comes upon the board, the bus itself that we're getting, I believe it's 903 in 11 plates. So the one we've just been on is a 61 going to run in that 44 in about four minutes time I and mean, it actually came in as a 44a as i was saying with the 58x the 44a again is another peak time direct route to get buses rushed back into the city center for where they're needed at peak time so here is our bus 903 on the 44 route hello you're right thank you Another lovely scan, yeah. Now as you can hear, this one is very, very loud. Um, 903, I think it's the better out of the two on the deckers I've been on today. The route itself as well is pretty decent, so you can get a bit more speed out of the bus compared to the 58x it's quite an odd thing to say but it's sometimes how these routes work so this one is an old example believe it or not now these yt 11s are actually the oldest ones in service and i believe they also have a number of these on the driver training school fleet now as well as they do use nottingham is one of the last places to use double deck buses as regular driver training vehicles they've recently converted back from Omni City single deckers to on the deckers so they've gone back to double deckers and there's quite a cool thing to have when you see the driver train and double deckers going around the cities we have seen the odd ones so far so these are now the oldest ones um, in Nottingham you can still go on an older or five plate on the decker with the Nottingham uh, Heritage Group who were based in Hucknall um, I know you'll all be watching so there's your shout out I'll leave the link to the Heritage Group's um, website in the description below so obviously you can check out when the next doing their open days and things and so you can ride on the 05 plate if you want a bit of comparison but obviously i would probably pop round to get these um, newer on the deckers pretty soon as most of them are going onto the reserve fleet and most of them have already been withdrawn so it's only a matter of time until the final few vehicles also get withdrawn and sold off the fleet but for now it's really nice and um, we'll probably be jumping off a couple of minutes as well but until then, I'm going to enjoy the very, very loud and nice Scania, um, I believe it's N230 UD sound, um, accompanied with the old um, bells on this Scania bus. Thank you. 
where we are just before Neverfield. So we're going to cross over the road and get a 44 back. Um, that's actually one of the older E400s um, but with a very similar engine to this bus. So we'll see the comparison and see how it sounds. So our bus back into the city centre just before one of the um, peak time Express 4T4As is this 63 plate. Another Scania but this time on an E400 bodywork. Hello, you're right. Thank you. Nice lights on this one. So here we go, so the reason we jumped up here, this isn't Nottingham City Centre, however this is the back of um, Nottingham City Transport Garage and the very very small but still just about present garage um, of Trent Barton. So if we have a little look down this bit here I believe it is, um, you'll notice as well, um, it's important to note, it's all um, one depot but if we have a little look down here I believe this side I don't know if there's any signage now but this side um, if you look the stores entrance from Nottingham City Transport we'll have a little walk up and we'll find the Trent Barton bit that I believe is just about in the middle so just showing off all the different colours that Nottingham City Transport use including their silver spare ones nice little opening into their depot here So this is the front of the Nottingham City Transport Depot. You'll notice as well, if we zoom it in slightly, the tram tracks are down there. You'll also notice there's not many buses in, and that's because this is the middle of peak time. Um, I remember as a kid, the first time I came here, I went over there, was seeing a show at the ice, ice rink, and saw all the buses coming in. So I always make an effort when I'm here to have a look. Um, and as you can see, they've used this depot for years, and there is still the tram tracks. Um, on the ground that have yet to be lifted and probably never will get lifted as they're not causing that many issues. And then literally Nottingham Depot's there as going to be demonstrated um, by these two buses pulling in. I timed this pretty well I'm going to be honest. The joys of filming an evening. And them all come back in, so that's one of the E400s and one of the sort of city fronted ones. I keep calling them MMCs, but they are in the 400 cities. And then literally right next door is the Trent Barton Amanda Street Depot. Now, initially, Trent Barton were going to be moving out of this. I don't know if that's still the case, but as you can see, they've got a main line and they've got a Cotsgrave in here. And um, so they do still keep a few buses running and what have um, from that depot. Not many, not as many as they used to, but they still have a couple here and there. However, the more active hub is obviously Nottingham City Transport that still run the majority of, if not all, of their operation from this one garage here. So bearing in mind that Trent Barton, the main depots that come to um, Nottingham are Derby Depot and Langley Mill. And then just like the Nottingham City Transport ones, here is one of the Trent Barton vehicles, an I-4 MMC returning to depot, turning left, just a little bit before, or a little bit after, should I say, of where the Nottingham City Transport bus has turned. And to finish off, before I pass you all into the studio for a little bit of a sum up of the Nottingham City Transport stuff today, remembering the fact that it's a municipal council operator, we'll take a trip on one of their trams.
So moving on to the conclusions, and basically, as you can see on the screen, that's what I thought of them. I feel like I gave that away in the video as well. Nottingham City Transport is an award-winning operator. They have won awards in the past. And sampling their buses, for me, was actually the first time. It's quite embarrassing how long I've um, been around in the north, been local to Nottingham, and never actually been on the buses. But you can see why Nottingham City Transport is an award-winning company. It's still run by the council, and the council sort of have a little bit of an in on the community transport for Nottingham operation and the trams. And following this, all of these different parts of the network into work. Fares are cheap and into work, and again, as per some most places, the plus bus ticket, if you do go in on the train, is the cheapest way to travel around because you can use it on Trent Barton. And um, Stagecoach, though, if you do travel in by bus or by car, you can also buy their Robin Hood ticket that does the exact same. So the route planning is absolutely superb. As someone that does a bit of research into route planning, both off and on camera, um, the route plans that they've done in Nottingham has always interested me. Um, splitting up colour and colour coding different main road corridors, main arterial roads out of the city. Grouping buses on them so they all run up at very, very high frequencies. Terminating the city centre as well so you're not having this cross-city issue um, where you've got sort of congestion from the north side is affecting the south. So there's none of that. Um, everything terminates in the city. And then you've got these colour-coded, frequent, very, very frequent bus corridors. Buses running between every three to ten minutes on most bus routes during the daytime, even more frequent at peak times. And then bus routes split off. So you've got obviously some routes on these services, um, on these corridors that use minibuses um, that obviously have the route numbers on the side for the minibus routes on the grid, on like the Green Line, for example. And then there's Green Line double deckers and they also want to have their specific routes that the double deck ones are. So you've got these sort of clear, clear denotations between them, even though they're all green. So you've got that um, as well. Then you've got um, the idea of these express services like the 58X, the 44A, that only run at peak times in the opposite direction of travel and that bring buses express um, direct into the city centres um, to convey more people either to the centre in the morning or, to, or out of it on an evening. So they move the buses where they're needed at the main times. That means the services can run more frequent without having um, as many buses um, required and also without having buses running dead in both directions through all the winding roads in housing estates. Stuff like that is absolutely spot on. There is also a perfect specification on the buses. The buses themselves aren't too glamorous. They've not overdone it. They've done it so that the seats are basic but are comfy. So the seats are comfy. The USBs are in places that they can be easily used. And they work. The free Wi-Fi all works. It's all professional. The next stop um, bus screens are very professional. They clearly outline the next bus stops. The next three coming up as well. So you know if you're near the location. They all match up to bus times and Google Maps and things like that. So they haven't used obscure names. They've got their own sort of travel information um, on these screens, as you could see, telling you like when service changes are coming up, hiring drivers, stuff like that. And then the main news bulletins um, from sort of like British news and overseas news and whatever the main headlines are at the time. The next stop announcements as well, the verbal announcements um, are absolutely phenomenal, very, very clear as well. So overall, I was incredibly impressed with Nottingham City Transport. It was worth the wait to go on their buses as they are absolutely phenomenal. And I would um, highly, highly recommend anyone who can to spend the day on their network, especially those from bigger bus companies, because I think a lot of what they do, especially on the route planning side as an initial bit, could be used by many other big companies and big passenger transport executives in other cities around the north of England to improve what they do, especially the model around colour coding the lines clearly for customers 
and then also terminating routes in the city centre as it does help to cater for reliability. So if you have enjoyed this video, and I hope those of you especially who have requested a Nottingham video for some time have done, if you have, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life public transport industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and hope, um, hope you've enjoyed it as much as it was a, joy, a pleasure and a joy to film. And I will see you all in the next one of it. Goodbye for now. Bye.